At least five people have been killed in a missile strike on the Russian city of Belgorod near the Ukrainian border. Reports suggest 18 others were also injured during the attacks on Thursday. Yulia Shapovalova is live for us now in Moscow, and so are the latest attacks today being seen as part of the pattern of exchanges we've seen in the last 24 hours. Well, that's right. And uh, we're hearing from Foreign Minister, Ministry spokesperson Maria Zaharova. She called the incident yet another act of terrorism by the Kiev regime, which killed civilians in Belgorod, including a child, and injured so many people, and that it would be submitted by Russia to a number of international organizations, including the UN Security Council. So, as you rightly mentioned, and according to the governor of the Belgorod region, uh, five people were killed as a result of that shelling, including one child, and another 18 people were injured, um, including five children, actually. And, uh, um, in seven private houses, we know that there were shuttered windows and roofs and fences were damaged, and in five apartment buildings, also shuttered windows, uh, apartments, loads and loads of damage. Five cars were damaged by shrapnel. So, uh, the Belgorod region is obviously serves as one of the supply lines of the Russian army, and uh, we obviously remember numerous convoys of the equipment and personnel were entering Ukraine from uh, the Belgorod region at the beginning of the armed conflict uh, in Ukraine in February 2022. So now we, we see that uh, basically the um, shelling uh, occurs almost daily, and so many people, about 300 people from the, the Belgorod region, have been evacuated to other regions of Russia, but there is really no end in sight. And, Yulia, this is not the first time that Belgorod has been targeted. Talk to us about the importance of the city, especially for Russian supply lines. Well, that's right. Uh, Belgorod is located some 40 kilometers from the border with Ukraine, and uh, there is a lot of military infrastructure there, including repair bases of the Ministry of Defense and hospitals for the injured. But uh, both sides, the Russian side and the Ukrainian side, and today is no exception, constantly report about civilian casualties when the shelling occurs. And uh, we're also hearing from the uh, Russian authorities that Ukraine has been shelling peaceful settlements there. Um, and uh, the Ukrainian shelling remains the main problem in the border regions of Russia, not just of, of the Belgorod region. Um, a significant portion of the state border passing there is now covered by minefields, something that makes ordinary people's life uh, totally uh, well, makes their life a nightmare. And uh, people who live there, they feel that, that they are involved in the armed conflict all the time. Thanks so much, Julia Shapovalova.